So guys, it's been exactly one month since my very first Roblox UGC Limiteds video. In that video, in case you didn't see it, I was talking about UGC Limiteds that were uploaded on the official Roblox account. So I think it's only been a couple of weeks since like us UGC creators have been able to make our own stuff limited. Of course, I'm a Video Stars member, so yeah, I've got UGC access as well. But as I was saying, this video is all about the official Roblox stuff because we've only been able to sell Limiteds for like a very short time. However, However, Roblox themselves tested this one month ago and they released three items. So I'm on the avatar shop right now and I'm just taking a look at them. And honestly, the glossy red baseball cap's doing pretty well. I guess the chicken's doing well as well. The shiny bling, that completely flopped. But to be fair, I did warn you guys in my previous video not to buy this one. The original price was 1,000. Now it's selling for 350. Oof. Yeah, that's a bit low. That's worse than I expected. Okay, well, the price is changing all the time. Somebody just sold it for 50 which was the original price. But yeah, it will be going up and down in price. I purchased three of these things. Now there's quite a few things I want to note about these UGC Limiteds because they're pretty much nothing like regular Limiteds. You guys may have noticed straight away there is no sales chart or wrap, so we can't really see the price increase and decrease on a nice chart or anything. This is actually incredibly basic. This is like the most basic Roblox Limited system I've ever seen. You can't trade them, there's no wrap graph. Also another thing to note is you don't have to wait for the entire quantity to sell out. It really appears once these items have been released for a month. Even if they sell out or not, we will be able to resell them. I guess that's a thing with all UGC Limiteds and not just the ones that Roblox made. I mean, yeah, I guess that makes sense. So that's interesting for sure. It's the total opposite to the normal Roblox Limiteds. Because if you think about it, guys, the Infernal Undead Immortal Sword, this has been on sale literally forever. And because the limited quantity never sold out, Roblox listed 31,000 of them, which is just absolutely insane. That must have been a mistake that they never fixed, surely. Even if it was 13,000, I would say, okay, it's a bit too much, but it kind of made sense. Anyway, yeah, like 10,000 people have bought this, or maybe a little bit just over, and nobody can trade it or sell it. Even though technically it is tradable, because the stock hasn't run out, well, we can't really do anything about that. But yeah, with UGC Limited, you don't have to wait for the stock to run out, which I think is probably one benefit to UGC Limited. Everything else, guys, is actually a disadvantage. Roblox RTC summed it up nicely. The first UGC Limiteds have begun to sell, and some people are mad. No sales chart, no wrap, recent average price increases when you buy stuff, no price chart. When buying a copy from another user, you need to wait 30 days to be able to sell it. 50% sales fee. Many people bet on UGC Limiteds as a way to make quick Robux on the limited marketplace. This isn't happening. Yeah, I said that in my previous video, like there is no way you're going to make money off these. Unless something was very, very cheap, like below 100 Robux, you're never going to benefit. Wrap isn't being touched and the UGC Limited seem to have an odd market of their own. So in a way, I guess some people are happy they're like totally separate to normal Roblox Limiteds, which in a way is kind of nice, I guess. But yeah, mostly guys, they're going to be hard to get rid of. If you guys were looking to sell these, it's a bit different than regular Limiteds. You can't really sell them by clicking on the options button. You literally have to go into owned items, scroll down and just click on the sell button. I don't have Roblox Premium today and I'm not going to subscribe in this video. I will subscribe to Premium when my other stuff goes limited. You know, the stuff that I made. But yeah, if you've got Roblox Premium, you can go and sell them. But you're going to get a 50% sales fee. So this guy, what's his name? Leaked. Oh god, that's not good. He should probably update his pin for that. But this guy's selling it for 50 Robux, right? He's only going to get 25 when this sells. So honestly, it's a bit of a ripoff. And of course, whoever buys it has to wait 30 days before selling it again. Yeah, honestly, guys, it's a bit of a nightmare. Actually, I'll tell you what. If I just go and buy one of these for 70, I'm just going to... Oh, what? Somebody already bought it? Maybe not. I don't know the page refresh. Let's go and buy this one. Okay, so I just bought it. Is it going to say holding? Oh yeah, holding for 30 days. So it's kind of nice. It tells you. You can see which ones you're holding and which ones you can sell. So I guess that's kind of nice. It indicates it well. But apart from that, yeah, this limited sort of UGC update thing, it's a bit messy. It's not really what we're used to. So comparing this to like a genuine Robux Limited, the XXL football head, we can see we've got the option. We can click that. We can sell it. You can buy it. You can sell it straight away. It's tradable. It's a lot different really. Oh, so you can see here owned items. So that's kind of similar. So if I just go and buy one of these then, just buy now, it's going to say I own two of them. That's right. And you can see I can sell it straight away. So normal limiteds are so much better than UGC limiteds. Even though some of the UGC limiteds do look very cool, they might be a little bit difficult to sell. If you were planning on getting Robux from some of the UGC limiteds, honestly, I'd only buy them if you think they look cool. Wait, I bought this? When? I must have bought it 30 days ago because it's letting me sell it. Maybe 
I just did it in the video just to show you guys what would happen. But yeah, 300 Robux for something that used to cost 1,000. Oh dear, what a disaster. Also only 10,000 of these sold. So yeah, to be fair, it was way too expensive anyway. Oh, I just remembered this item's not even positioned correctly, is it? So yeah, the positioning of it on my avatar is terrible. No wonder why nobody wants it. To be fair, guys, even the extremely sparkly sparkled chicken, even this is not really doing that well. I mean, people are getting what, like 2,500, 3,000 Robux for this. Obviously, you've got to keep like the 50% fee in mind. The thumbnail on this thing's messed up. It just looks a bit weird. It's also a copy of an existing item. Yeah, guys, even though this only has like a thousand of them available, the people that bought this aren't even getting their money back. These Roblox UGC items have been a disaster. I honestly hope the UGC makers that made, you know, their own custom stuff, I hope that works out a lot better. Because with these, I just can't really imagine anyone wanting to buy this. So here's the proof over the sell item thing from Lucas. We can see he tried to sell his chicken for 10,000 and only then would he get the original price back. So the 5k which he originally spent on it. I think it was 5k when it came out, right? So oh my god, this is very bad. Obviously, if you guys saw my original video about this, you would have heard me warn you guys about this anyway. I basically expected this sort of thing to happen. I'm really hoping my free stuff does well though. So my scary face egg and my cursed devil cap. I really hope these ones sell for a decent price. I mean, they were free, right? So we can't really lose Robux on these. Also, my cursed graffiti trendy hat. It's only got 844 left. Original stock 7,000. So they're almost gone now. Again, I've bought quite a few of these on both of my accounts. So fingers crossed this one does well. Honestly, guys, if we could sell this for like, I don't know, 200 Robux, maybe even more. I think that'd be quite nice. Maybe some people have sell it off cheap, but I really don't know. The main reason why I sold this, if you guys remember me saying in my video, I basically wanted to stop these snipe bots from taking all of my free copies because honestly, it was driving me a bit nuts. One thing I wanted to do just very quickly was to try a trade hangout to see if these items appear in my inventory and I also want to find out if they increase my wrap or not. I don't know why I didn't check this already. Do they appear in trade hangout and do they count towards my wrap? So I'm guess they're going to be very low down on the list. Let me try and find these. Um, they should be somewhere here, shouldn't they? Because this one's 200, so the cap is not showing up at all. I guess because you can't really trade them and they're separate to limiteds in a way, so they're not really on trade hangout. So I assume that's not really counting towards my wrap then. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, honestly, guys, I don't think they're on here at all. I think it's fair to say they're totally separate from normal Roblox limiteds, which to be honest is what quite a lot of people wanted anyway. They didn't really want them to be sort of muddled together. So either this is good or bad, maybe good, I guess. So yeah, it seems so far, guys, players have lost Robux over the UGC Limiteds. But to be fair, these were the ones uploaded by Roblox, not the UGC makers. So just keep that in mind. And who knows, maybe the UGC ones will do a little bit better. They definitely will have more hype around them anyway. I'll probably make another video similar to this when they dropped just to see what sort of prices they're going for, especially the free items. I'm very, very curious to see what happens with those. But if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe. Cheers for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.